on Nerds and Nerdettes. It's me, Stevie B, with a little bit of variant content for you. Hopefully, if I got my packages right. <laughs> this one, this mystery box. Stay tuned. But, um, thought I'd show you my little haul. Um, <clears throat> as you've heard me talk about before on a previous video, you know, Comic Head 84, he got in my head a little bit, but he made some very valid points and it got me to thinking, man, I, I'm spending so much on on mystery boxes and, and I'm not, and I'm, you know, I, and I get a lot of books out of the mystery boxes that I do love for my personal collections, but I don't necessarily get the books that I want for my personal collection, you know what I mean? So, I don't spend enough time um, pursuing things for my personal collection. So, that's why I'm gonna start doing more of these, uh, more of these variant content stuff and showing you just a little bit inside of what, what I do collect when I go out and I buy stuff. And as you will see clearly in a lot of my videos, I, really gravitate towards the old 90s books because man that's when I'm, that was the heyday of my collection that's when i that's when i started collecting that's when i was big into collecting and those are the books that i loved and the books that i missed and so when i go out to collect i'm trying to recapture those days i guess so a lot of stuff that i collect for myself in my personal collection you know, are the stuff that I had once before in the 90s and I had to get rid of. So I miss them. <laughs> now I want them back. So you'll see a lot of that in my collection. And, but I don't feel I need to shout the guy out about these from because, well, except that that gum. How many times did he take this thing? I ain't even gonna go into the boxing and packaging spiel again. But um I wanna get he's got them taped into like two separate bundles inside of here. And uh, really excited to show you some books, but to get through the layers and layers of shipping tape. Okay, I think I got all of it off there. One, three, four. Um. Okay, I'm just making sure they're all there first. I know. I apologize for the for the brief moments of silence. I want to make sure I got all my books that I ordered from him first before I show them and get them in order so that I gotta get them I gotta present nicely <clears throat> funny thing about this this purchase is um, is it kinda goes against what y'all know about me <laughs> from my videos and as y'all know I'm not a huge fan of Todd McFarlane, but people m misunderstand when I say that I I don't like Todd McFarlane. They think I don't like his art or I don't like his stories or whatever, and that's not the case. I love his artwork. I think he's one of the one of the most talented artists that there was in the '90s, um, and still today, his stuff still holds up. I just don't like him as a person because I met him once and when I met him he was kind of a dick so you know as a person he's he's kind of a tool bag but as an artist he's great and so I do like his stuff anyway I got all the tape unwrapped off everything I'm almost and I'm sorry it took so long but this guy just had scotch tape. And it's scotch tape, too. I mean, god dang, dude. 
and little pieces of it everywhere. Anyway, <clears throat> so this is what I had I wanted to pick up. And it is uh, Spider-Man number 1 and this is the Torment series. And so here is the infamous probably the most homage to cover in history is the Spider-Man number 1 Todd McFarlane Torment cover. But I got the the regular green cover and the more tape. God bless. It's just little pieces of tape stuck to everything. And then I got the really good condition too. These are in good condition. The bags and boards are beat to hell, but the, the books survived, so I'll rebag and board them. Then I got the silver variant. Which is my favorite variant out of all of them. This is the reason I got this one. I still got tape stuck to me too. <laughs> I got I got little pieces of Scotch tape like Squatchy's got little pieces of Fuminati confetti all over his place. I'll be picking that shit up forever. But this is like the best the best version of this cover. I love this silver and black. It's just pops on there. But and then of course I got part two. And part three, part four, and these are all in amazing condition. I'll give him props for that. He didn't lie about the condition. They're in great condition. And of course, part five. So yeah. My little blast from the 90s. Um, loved them. Loved the story from back then. Um, loved the artwork. So, can officially bury the hatchet between me and Todd McFarlane. <laughs> He's, is he still a douche? I don't know. Maybe he was having a bad day that day. Maybe he was a little full of himself because... You know, back in the early 90s, it was Spawn had just come out and been out for about six issues or so. And he was sitting on top of the world, kind of thought his shit didn't stink and thought he was he was better than everybody else. And I reminded him quickly that, no, we're, it's us fans that put you here and you'd be good to th remember that when I jerked the Spawn number one out of his hand while he was signing it. <laughs> so... You know, so that was my beef with McFarlane. Um, still respect his art. I respect his craft, as they say. I was just not a fan of him as a person. I think he needed to learn the hu little humility back in the 90s. Anyway, so that was my first little pickup. I think I did good and I didn't grab the wrong packages. No pull tabs on these. Oh. Grr, he just took a piece of shipping tape and stretched it across there without a pull tab on it. So I'm going to have fun getting this off here. Well, that ain't too bad. Maybe it won't be too bad. Oh, but it's that's that tacky shit. Man, see, now, I'm, now it's going to bend. Oh, luckily, luckily he thought enough to put a backing board in between him. All right, just one book in this one. And... Okay, no damage, no damage. All right. This is a zero hour book. Remember that storyline? And but this is a special one because this is Legionnaires number zero. And I don't know if any of y'all know what the significance of this book is. I mean, it's not a major, major key, it's a minor key at best, but it's in the realm of the stuff that I like to collect. And which all you which you all know is Teen Titans and Super Sons and the new Teen Titans and stuff like that. But this is um, the first appearance of XS, who had her little run on the last season of The Flash. Nora Allen. So this is her first appearance. So I was stoked to get that. 
and not very valuable, but again, I love stuff like that. First, first appearance of excess. So, but that was my little pickup from eBay, a little insight into what I like and what I like to collect, stuff like that. Um, so when I'm not buying mystery boxes, this is the stuff I chase. And as I've said before, I like, I like to get the storylines, complete storylines. So I don't have to, I don't have to go bouncing from books to books to books. I can just pick up the whole story at once. So when I shop eBay, there's a story line that I want to get. I'll go find somebody that's selling the lot and I'll pick up the lot. But, because let's face it, I mean, I could put a pull list together at Douche Canoe Comics. And then, you know, and I could get every Batman book that comes out and every Superman, every Spider-Man, every Teen Titan book, but they don't, they're not all good. <laughs> you know, some of the storylines suck in it and why pay money for books that you're not going to enjoy? So I hear about, a, I find out about a storyline that I like and those are the books I go after, whether it be a Batman storyline like City of Bane, um, or that ultimate, uh, absolute carnage storyline got all those you know i want to get, like to go back and get a death in the family that was one of my favorite batman stories ever and i'd like to go back and get all the uh death of superman books that that was the one that started it all for me but anyway um i'm gonna wrap this up because you know phone's running out of storage and i got a bunch of videos saved on here that are coming out in the future so, that being said, I appreciate you uh, tuning in to my variant content. If you'd please, hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed to me already, um, consider subscribing. I try to put out content at the very minimum of twice a week. I do my mystery box unboxings on, on Mondays and Thursdays. Various times, because, you know, brother's got to work. <laughs> Sometimes I don't feel like messing with it until later. But... Um, and I'm going to try to throw in more stuff like this, um, show you what I, what I collect when I'm not buying mystery boxes, but I'm going to wrap things up. Appreciate it. Um, we'll see you on the next video. Peace.